Hey, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, first of all, I want to just apologise a little bit for my voice. Um, I have a little bit of a strained voice at the moment, um, just due to sort of stress and lots of other things going on. So I do apologise if my voice um, needs cleared or is not very clear throughout the video, but I will try my best. Um, but anyway, so today was my weigh in. It is Thursday the 12th of October and today's weigh-in was weigh-in 19. Um, to be honest, all I'm going to say so far is that I am so happy and I really am so happy about the result tonight. I can't reiterate that enough. enough. Um, but what I will say is that I haven't got a new sticker, I haven't got another award as far as I'm aware, but what I will do uh, first before I go into the weight loss sort of part of this video is just to let you know about a little sort of healthy extra user upper, if that's the right term, uh, that I made last night. It's probably not new to a lot of you who may follow my videos, who may be avid Slim World sort of flop followers and fans, um, but anyway, it's something that I wanted to share with you. So basically what it is, is um, a sort of cheese and tomato bagel pizza that I made in my air fryer. Um, so I'll pop a little photo up just so you can see what it looks like, but basically what it is, I'll just show you here now. I have obviously opened this packet, but basically what it is, is the Warburton's Protein Thin Bagels, or Bagel Thins, whatever you want to call them. That's the package in there that you're looking for. So these are a Healthy Extra B choice on Slum World. And if you don't use your Healthy Extra B, I think they are seven or seven and a half sins, which is quite a lot. But I personally love these. I love seeded bread and I love seeded bagels. So the fact that there is a version that I can use for my healthy extra bee choice is perfect. Um, so they come sliced already, they're high in fiber. There is eight grams of protein, which is plant-based per bagel. And they are also 160 calories each per bagel as well. So you often do find these reduced in like Asda's, Tesco's, etc. So if I do ever see them on offer, or reduced, I will buy a couple of packs and just pop them into the freezer. They defrost really, really quickly and they do freeze well. They don't go sort of stodgy or stale at all. Um, so they are really versatile. Now, I popped these down, but basically what I did is I used some tomato paste, um, sort of tomato puree, with some fresh garlic. I then popped sort of two tomatoes on. So I had one tomato per half of the thin if that makes sense so obviously it's a sandwich together and you open it up so there are two halves and um, so per each half i spreaded the puree round round the bagel thin and um, i then topped it with one sliced tomato on each bagel sort of thin half and i then topped it with cheese so that was my healthy extra a choice now i use 30 grams on the thin sort of shredded setting from on my grater and it does go much further than the sort of the normal shredder sort of setting if you like but the thin the thin grater um, section does make it go a lot much a lot further and it does look a lot more as well so psychologically it makes you feel like you're having more than what you really are um, but again if you are using the sort of the, the sort of finer setting for grating your cheese or anything else um, it does go a lot further as I said, but if you're using like an oven dish or you're making something for say a couple of different people Putting it on as a massive pile of cheese on the finest setting really does make all of the difference and it also melts a lot easier as well So what I did is I popped the cheese topped tomato topped bagels into the or bagel halves into the air fryer for about five minutes or so checked it every sort of couple of minutes just to make sure that it was okay. Sometimes within the air fryer, if you put things on like cheese, it blows around a bit inside, but actually it was fine this time around. I just gave it a little bit of a press down before I popped it into the air fryer. Um, so I popped it on 200 for, as I said, about five, six minutes um, and just checked it every couple of minutes to make sure that it was okay. I then did put it in for an extra minute or two just to help crisp things up a little bit. Took it out of the air fryer, popped it onto a plate, and I did put a little bit of salt and pepper and parsley on top and I can assure you it was the most lovely, inviting little snack that I have made for such a long time and I think it would be a really good lunch. Uh, you could have lots of fruit with it as a sort of side, you could have some salad with it, you could have some chips, you could have chips and cheese with it, 
you, you could make loaded fries with it, you know, there's lots of different things that you could do that would fit in with your sort of healthy extras or your sin allowance if that's what you wanted to do. Or you could also make up um, sin free sort of sides, um, not necessarily speed ones, but you could make up some pasta to go on the side if you wanted to have like a sort of Italian type lunch or dinner for example. Or you could make something like that up for breakfast and of course the toppings are completely up to yourselves. Um, if you're using fruit you have to count that you'd be cooking the fruit if you pop it into the air fryer but um, with regards to all vegetables and things like cheese as long as you're measuring it out regards your healthy extras then actually there is no issue no restriction with having that as a snack or as part of a meal so I personally would highly recommend it. I used a red Leicester um, cheese on top and I personally thought that had a really really good flavour and I will be making it again so it might be something that I do tomorrow for lunch because I'm, I'm off work tomorrow um, so I'm now on annual leave for a week and a day um, so I'm really looking forward to that so I think it gives me seven eight nine ten days off in a row which I just cannot wait for I'm really really ready for my annual leave now and uh, yeah it's been a bit of a rough week regards my throat it's given me a little bit of jip um, I felt quite tired, um, I had an Epsom salts bath the other night and it made such a difference, I was quite achy all over, just sort of general sort of cold sort of symptoms but it's not come to anything yet apart from the throat so I do feel good, it's just a bit draining isn't it when you're just not feeling 100% and you know speak, speaking which is what I do all day long for, for work, I then come home and obviously I am a chatty person as it is but then I have to do videos as well so it's just making sure that I've got enough time to rest my voice so that it actually recovers and that's what I'm going to aim to do over the next couple of days. So before I head on to the weight loss section I will just show you one last item that you may or may not be aware of already and this is again a Warburton's product but it is the Soft Pitas. So you have four in a pack, they are the same sort of texture and feel of the um, Warburton's thins basically, the sort of square ones that you get and um, they're also vegan friendly as well so if any of you guys at home have vegan um, food requirements then this might be something you want to look at. They are 151 calories per pita, these are healthy extra B choice as well and um, personally for me I absolutely love them. I've never used them as a pita itself as the packet um, sort of directs you to do on the front as a serving suggestion. But this is what the packaging looks like. You can generally pick them up in most supermarkets I would say that I've been into. I've never had an issue. Um, and they're generally quite well priced. I think these were on offer for a pound in Asda, if I can remember correctly. But they weren't much more than that. But they're very much um, just as good as the protein bagel thins to be frozen as well. If you ever get them, you maybe don't want to use them all up. Or you haven't had the chance to pop them in your freezer and you will not be sorry when you really just want something quick to make a nice meal with or a snack. Um, but these can be popped into your toaster, again pop them into the air fryer or what I've been doing is um, basically slicing them open so it's like a, a big sort of open sheet of sort of pita bread if you like but you can again make that into um, like a topped or loaded type pizza. What you could also do if you really wanted to is you could fill the inside of the pizza and then sort of crimp it around the outside so you would have like a type of calzone type pizza if that's up your street but again it's something that you can use just to keep yourself feeling like you are fulfilled regards takeaways, fakeaways, whatever you want to call them and again a little bit of what you really fancy is not a bad thing at all and we all need that little bit of encouragement at times to keep us going and the sort of motivation aspect of it is really really important. Um, so if you guys haven't tried these already I would definitely give them a go. I'm not endorsed by Warburton's or anything like that if anyone's wondering but I'm not, I just genuinely like the products. They're cheap, they're affordable, they're freezable and they are a healthy extra choice which is fantastic. So um, yeah, let me know if you ever have had them or if you're going to try them, let me know how they turn out. So thank you very much. Um, of course you can also use them for making up sort of like salad pitas like with ham or chicken or cheese or whatever it is that you want to pop in it with lots of salad for your healthy ex for your um, speed foods and again using cheese or whatever it is that you want to pop inside it as well for your healthy extra a choice. Now moving on to the weight loss aspect of the video as I said I'm really really happy this week in regards to my weight loss. Um, so far this week I have lost three pounds since last week Last week I came away a little bit disheartened just because I lost one and a half pounds and again that is not a bad weight loss but I felt I had done a lot 
and it didn't equate to what potentially had come up on the scale, if that makes sense to any of you guys at home. Um, I put in extra effort, but this, this week round it's all evened out and as I said I lost £3 this week, so it takes me to a total loss of three stone four and a half pounds. So I've got two and a half pounds to lose to get my three and a half stone award and we're currently on week 19. It would be ideal in an ideal perfect world, which we know we definitely don't live in, but it would be great if I could lose the two and a half pounds for next Thursday and I would get my three and a half stone award. However, I'm on annual leave now and yes, I will have time to make and prep food and do videos for yourselves as I would you know, genuinely love to do as much as I can on a normal day to day but of course we all know what life and work can be like and it's not always possible but the hope is that being off will make me more mindful and available to do more exercise, to do even more meal prep than I already do and just be able to have a little bit more time to eat and make different foods than I normally would on a sort of day to day or night to night basis when I'm doing my meal prep for the following day. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. I know it's within my reach within even just two weeks. And if I don't get it for next week, then that's absolutely fine, but I know I'll get it for the week after. And I think just knowing that I'll get my three and a half stone award by the end of the month is just really, really good for me, to be honest. Um, I really want to get to that four stone weight loss ASAP and then I just want to aim upwards in regards to losing even more weight before Christmas so I'm really really on it um, as I have been throughout my whole journey so far. I think people are definitely noticing differences in myself. Um, I've noticed differences in regards to my face, um, my, my clothes, the way they feel, the way they, they fit, um, the way they look and just my actual silhouette as well is changing all the time. Um, and I cannot complain about that at all. I think just people that haven't seen me for quite a while are quite shocked. Um, and I think, you know, shocking people into seeing that you've made a huge difference to not just your life, but your health and, you know, your sort of longevity and your happiness and your, your overall lifespan is something that you just cannot um, underestimate you know I genuinely left today someone made a comment saying oh my goodness I can't believe that's you you know they hadn't seen me for a while and that made me feel really good because I've put a lot of work in I wouldn't say I've worked really really hard because I found some world easy I haven't struggled with it um, and I know that that's not the case for everyone it certainly is the case it wasn't the case for me before when I've done some world and I have struggled with it so I know what that's like and I know what it's like to gain and lose and gain and lose all of the time but I think the stage that I'm at right now is that I'm in the zone and I think if you're in the zone you need to own it and you need to go with it and I think I'm very much an all or nothing type person and as I'd said on my previous video that we had a sort of come down with me night and I was really worried about that going to impact my weight loss. I was then really worried about going to a children's party and having a little bit of cake and some snacks and things and I genuinely was quite consumed with it all because I thought well I've lost one pound then I've lost one and a half is this going to be another half a pound or one pound and I know that that's not a bad weight loss but I think for me it just felt like things were stalling a little bit which I don't like I don't like things to stagnate I like to always move things forward and always try to improve and that's just not regards my weight loss that's regards me as a person and my career and my development so it's not something that I've just equated to my weight loss but I think if I can do it on a professional based basis then I can do it on a personal basis so I just need to try interlink all of that and as I said it's been going really well so far so um, as I said I've not got another certificate sort of sticky on the back here yet but hopefully I will get one very very soon so please tune in to the next video and you may see me do some more meal prep you may see me do some sort of ideas and suggestions for you guys at home I would love to do it because I'm now hopefully going to have a little bit of time over the next week or so um, and unfortunately I've just not had that time for many weeks actually um, up until now but um, hopefully you will enjoy the remaining content and keep in touch with me let me know if you have any suggestions or ideas um, I am going to be doing some, do some sort of um, cooking over the next couple of days that might interest some of you so if I can I will upload that um, and as always thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for the encouragement and I do have a few very avid followers who are just fantastic. Um, they really do make all the difference for when they do comment and I do thank, thank every single person for watching these videos and giving me the much needed positive encouragement and feedback at times when things can get a wee bit tough. 
Um, so thank you so much as always and I shall catch you on the next video. So thank you. Bye.